angry guy here and black women are attacking foreign women for taking black men. everyone welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to another video this time we are going to talk about a video which was posted by the youtube channel called manners fear daily which has about 189,000 subscribers and of course this video featured yours truly Sureya brooks because when you have a message and you are truthful you are honest you really identify with what you are preaching and especially if you're practicing it, people are going to agree with you and those who agree with you are going to spread your message. But not only that people agree with you, of course there are going to be a good chunk of people who disagree with you, such as a lot of women, for example, on Instagram, because Instagram today decided to delete my account with 60,000 followers, but that's all good because we know women don't like the truth, women don't know how to deal with the truth, and they damn sure don't want to know the truth. So let's continue, let's look right into the video, and let me tell you, we have so much to talk about. This young lady decided to critique one of my videos, and in this video I am talking about the reasons why some American men are leaving the US, join the passport bro movement, because they are sick and tired with what they have to deal with in the US. I mean, can you blame them? Young women like her are the exact reason why my channel exists are the exact reason why I'm speaking about the things that I've talked about and I will keep going and growing on this channel because there are way too many men out there who have to suffer from this on a daily basis and also my ladies out there if you are doing whatever you can do for your men don't be afraid to show it don't be afraid to speak about it because we need more women like you and myself so I did enough talking let's get right into the video and see what this precious little young lady has to say Everybody, I am the Mademoiselle, and this is my channel. Welcome to another video. Of course, we got another reaction for y'all. This one's gonna be pretty interesting, okay? We're gonna be reacting to a woman telling us why American men have become passport bros. And boy, oh boy, I can't wait because I know I got a lot of sh to talk. Well, I don't know why she has the need to show us all of her tonsils or all the teeth in the back of her mouth. And also, young lady, you have discovered the difference. I am a woman, you are a little girl, and I totally understand that you don't like the things that I say because you need to do a lot of growing up. Us women, we- Oh, snap. I am a woman, you are a little girl. Wow, she just put Keisha in her place. We know how to treat a man. Us women, we can, you know, differentiate delusion from reality. That's why a lot of women in America especially also are still stuck in the delusional world even at the age of 35 to even to 40 thinking that men have to deliver this that this and the other while the woman just has to exist why men leave the US to find traditional wives it's not only because they want traditional wives there is a little bit more to that stay tuned to find out I know you always talk about what and how women think about the passport bro movement, but there's really more to it than a man just wanting to leave the country trying to find a traditional wife. Where the f is this from? Who the f sponsored her ass to come to the US? And why the f is she putting her mouth in, 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 in? affairs got me out here stuttering and shit this is the thing i don't have any problem with anyone giving their opinions about anything okay i get paid to do this shit right but i have a problem with women in particular that go into these topics and into these male dominated spaces and try to be what you guys call pick me's and be like well this is why the men are leaving y'all this is why they go into other countries and they they, they want to be passport bulls i don't even know where that accent came from but y'all know exactly what i'm talking about who the f got your ass into the u.s and why do you feel like you gotta keep sucking <laughs> this month? Hey yo, ain't nobody asked your unseasoned casserole ass. None of this. Why am I, I honestly don't even know where to start. It's not that men are trying to be passport bros, honey. Men are passport bros, and you are one of the main reasons why it is happening. You are way too loud. I mean, just when I sat there and I looked at the video the very first time, I heard myself speak compared to the way that she is speaking. And I'm just sitting there calm, cool, collective as I am. And I'm telling you, the way that you hear me speak online is the exact way that I speak to my husband. Yes, my voice may be a little deep. I get it. But that's just what it is. And then you got her. Not even two minutes into my video, she starts calling me names. She starts insulting me. She starts telling me to stay out of 
their business. And I know why you are saying that because you don't like women like myself, white Karens. You don't like white Karens because all you know is actually black and white. That, that's a whole different story. You don't like us speaking the truth. You don't like to see men, especially black men from America, being treated like kings. Honey, no, I am not sponsored. I am still here based in Germany and you better be happy and pray to the Lord about the fact that I am still here in Germany because if I would be in America, trust me, I would be all over the podcast and none of you would like it. And that would be totally fine with me because the truth, you can run from it as much as you want to, but you can never hide from it, okay? Baby, it's game over for some women like yourself because women like me with real hair, we don't just take it off and throw it inside of the washing machine. We are letting men in America know that they don't have to deal with Bro, I told y'all it was coming. I told y'all this was what was coming. What did she just say? All right? I told y'all these women were going to I told y'all these foreign women were going to start getting bold. I called it. I want y'all to remember cuz I always say, remember that angry said this. I said these foreign women were st going to start talking stuff. They were they were going to start fighting back. And they were going to start swinging low. And one of the things they were going to go after was the hair. And they're going to look. They're going to say, look, see that? See that right here? That's real hair right here. It's real hair right here. This ain't weave. This isn't some poor women's weave on her, on, 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 your, on my head. All right? Like the rest of y'all. This is real hair right here. Natural right here. Do you see what she just did right there? And guess what? You think her husband is going to correct her? Do you think her black African-American husband is going to say, listen, baby. That ain't right, all right? You know that the women in our culture, you know, they 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 really they really are very sensitive about their hair. He ain't correcting nothing. He knows exactly what she was doing. He knows exactly why she was doing it. He's not gonna come and rescue Keisha when Keisha starts crying her eyes out, like you didn't have to do me like that, you didn't have to say something like that. You know how it is of exactly. Y'all, you know, y'all walking around with ball patches. Covering it up with wigs. You know, you have these women overseas. They got real hair, natural hair, you know, God-given hair. It's hard. And here's the interesting thing. If you actually do a little bit of research, so she's actually Turkish. People think she's white. She's actually Turkish. If you look up the actual genetic makeup of a Turkish person, they're only part European. They're part Asian. And then it's Middle Eastern or uh, Central, what is it, Central Asia, basically Middle Eastern. So it's it's like a combination of a bunch of different things, which is kind of, which is crazy. And so the closest description is mixed. And these women, these quiches, they, th they think they're going to run their mouth and they don't realize that all these women will clap back. A lot of these women have been very nice up until this point. But there's a huge shift happening right now. I put out a video earlier where I talked about and I literally showed you guys how women are claiming that men who are not marrying, men who are not dating, men who are walking away are a danger to a woman's freedom in Western society. All right. They are basically they are basically complaining and saying that the loss of traditionalism is a danger for women. You see, women want traditional men, but they don't want to be traditional women. And what they broke the rules, all right? They broke the rules. So the contract has been dissolved. And now they're seeing that. They're realizing that they are in a terrible position because without men, without a strong men in a society, there is no society. A society without its men is a wasteland. And women overseas, they will take these men and they will make their countries, their societies stronger. This is exactly what's happening. They are taking the men that men, that women in America didn't want. But you have to remember that women don't want roughly 95% of American men. 95%. And then from that top 5% of men that they will deal with, they're all going after the top 1%. And then in, in many cases, the top 10% of the top 1%. So men who virtually do not exist or in reality do not actually exist. So these women are stepping in and they are taking these men away from them. These men are running away from the Western woman and they're running into the arms of foreign women. And like I said, women can be real nasty to one another. There is no love between women. They'll act, you know, they'll hang out. They'll say that, oh, I have, this is my friend. But as a grown man, I've come to realize that women don't have many close friends. 
those women that they say are my friends, they don't actually consider them friends. Women can have tons of friends and no friends at all at the exact same time. I know it sounds strange, but it's because they don't actually consider these women real close friends. It's a very intriguing thing. Just because she can hang out with her, just because they talk on the phone, that doesn't make them close friends. It's a very interesting thing where the notion goes, the saying goes, you know, women understand women, or rather men should not try to understand women because women understand women and they can't stand one another. Think about that very, very carefully. The foreign women have been extremely tame to this point. They've been really humble to this point. But now, now they're losing it, you know? They already have the men. The men are walking away and are not looking back. And now the Western women that are running their mouths and think that they're going to get on top and they're going to, they can't, they can't compete. They don't know how to compete. Listen to, look, I, I was shocked. I was literally shocked with Soraya just now. I did not expect that from her. She said, I am a woman. You are a little girl. Holy cow. Holy cow. I did not see that one coming, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. And then she went for, then she swung low. She said she went for the hair. She went for the hair. She knows that black women, the one thing, there is nothing that a black woman is more insecure about than her hair. And she went for the hair immediately. Immediately. I've warned that this was going to happen. I've said that they're going to start coming back. They're going to start clapping back. When they clap back, they're going to clap hard. And women in Western society are not going to be able to handle it because they are mentally stunted. They have always had everyone fighting every battle for them. Women don't even fight their own battles in Western society. But that's not going to happen anymore. And they cannot fight foreign women. A lot of these foreign women have actually had to work things in, for, for, for things in life. They didn't get to live off the welfare state like a lot of quiches. So it's not going to it's not going to work. These women are all bark and no bite because they use men to do the fighting for them. And as men walk away, that bark means nothing. No one's listening anymore. That bark is a joke. Bruh, 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 bruh. That's a joke. And a lot of these women in Western society, they're weak. They're not strong. They're weak. They can't fight. They really can't fight. Their videos of Soraya, I'm, and I'm, I'm not putting on her pedestal or anything. I'm just saying their videos of Soraya hitting the gym with her man. Their videos of her hitting the gym with her man. I'm just putting it out there. A lot of these women don't do weights in America. They don't do weights. They're all trying to get the BBL and all this other nonsense. They can't. They they can't. They can't fight. They can't fight these foreign ladies. They can't fight. They are a lot of them out there with you know struggling irritable bowel syndrome. You know early early heart disease. I'm, I'm just I'm just being real with you. You know, like I said, ball patches, their hair is falling out, struggling with all kinds of problems, all kinds of these women, these women, they can't they can't handle these foreign women. They can't handle these foreign these foreign ladies. You know, they, they, they're all bark, no bite. You know, they, they're done. They're done to done, done, done to done, done. They, they need to go sit down. They're tired. You see, you see a lot of them, when they take off their makeup, you just see the black under their eyes from years of struggle, from years of exhaustion, because they've been on the streets for so long. All right? These, these, these ladies, they need to go take a rest. All right? They need to go take a rest and let the foreign women take care of the men that they didn't want. All right? Modern women need to go, to, they need to go sit down, sit down and take a rest and let the foreign ladies take over. Let the, let, let the real, let the real women step up. Anyway, guys, what do you think regarding this? Black women are attacking foreign women for taking black men. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. You can see I'm enjoying myself on this video. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA men walking away. Say it with me. Cheers.